In this video, we'll talk about what is Microsoft SQL Azure. SQL Azure gives you a robust relational database service in the cloud, one that can serve both local and cloud-based applications. Storing relational data locally means buying servers and database software. It requires you to install, set up, patch, and physically manage multiple database servers. High availability and disaster recovery can require yet more hardware, software, and administrative overhead. Scaling up or down can be hard to do quickly and cost-effectively. Today, you can use a hosted database. That puts some of the burden and cost on the vendor's shoulders, but you still have to patch, update, and manage databases. You still have to implement high availability and fault tolerance, and you face the same issues in scaling that you do with on-premises database servers. SQL Azure works differently. It is a relational database service in the cloud, hosted in Microsoft data centers. What's different about that? Instead of individual databases on individual machines, SQL Azure is distributed across many nodes. There's no need to install, patch, manage, or physically administer anything. Instead of buying machines and software, you just pay for the database consumed, a lot like an electric bill. SQL Azure, based on Microsoft SQL Server, lets you make the most of existing applications and tools, whether they're from Microsoft or third parties. It also lets people in your organization use the skills and knowledge they already have. Provisioning, management, and synchronization across on-premises SQL Server and SQL Azure databases are seamless. SQL Azure also supports Transact SQL, or T-SQL, enabling you to use existing investments in T-SQL development and providing a familiar relational data model in the cloud. High availability and fault tolerance are built into the system. For example, SQL Azure automatically stores copies of your database. If something happens to the machine that's hosting your live copy, there is an identical copy waiting to be activated. Taken as a whole, SQL Azure supports some really interesting scenarios. Because of the way it's built, the SQL Azure database is simple to provision, regardless of size. So, imagine you have an on-premises application that's currently using on-premises SQL Server as a database. You want to focus on adding business value to the application and outsource the process of managing and provisioning databases and making them highly available. You also want to scale capacity quickly. You can point the application to SQL Azure quickly with minimal changes to code. Or, you might have an application running on Windows Azure that requires a relational database. SQL Azure would be a great choice. You can scale database needs without any friction. If later you don't need as much capacity, you go back to using less. Whether you are an army of one or a Fortune 500 company, you can flexibly meet the needs of your applications and users. Independent software vendors can provide their solutions through a software-as-a-service model without having to host customer data. They can build line-of-business applications on Windows Azure and use SQL Azure Database as a Service. Departments inside enterprises can create applications that add value to the business without having to manage a data server installation. On-premises applications can hook into the cloud database, enabling workers to access data wherever they go. By putting a relational database service in the cloud, SQL Azure opens up new ways to extend the value of any data-driven application, whether on-premises or cloud-based.